And here we're going to talk to Nigel Farage of the United Kingdom Independence Party. They hold 13 seats in the European Parliament. They have yet to win a seat in the House of Commons. Mr. Farage has uh, kindly joined us from our Westminster studio. A very lively exchange, Mr. Farage, not least on immigration in tonight's debate. What did you make of that? Yes, I mean, Mrs. Duffy being abused by the Prime Minister yesterday for expressing legitimate concerns about immigration led to a very good question tonight, which was, is there a disconnect between our politicians and ordinary people on the question of uncontrolled mass immigration? And they all felt that they all looked uncomfortable with this, but we got an admission from Nick Clegg that as members of the European Union, there is absolutely nothing we can do about uncontrolled numbers coming into this country from the rest of the European Union. This is something that we've been saying for years. UKIP was the only party that voted against this in the European Parliament back in 2004. And now the cat's out of the bag. And now we have one week until polling day. And I think the British public will realize that we cannot have our own immigration and asylum policy and be members of the European Union. Therefore, we have to make a big decision. And specifically, what would that decision be for your party? Well, what we would say is, look, let's have a free trade agreement with the European Union. Let's have work permits from you know, workers from Poland or Lithuania or whatever it may be. But let's not give to hundreds of millions of people from very poor countries the automatic right of settlement and entitlement to our social security system. We've got rising unemployment in Britain, and to have an excess of supply, oversupply, in the labour market at this time is bad for our people. And out there in the country, this is what tens of millions of people are talking about, and somehow the Westminster Club have tried to ignore it. I don't think in future they're going to be able to. Just a brief comment, if I may, Mr Farage, on the question of city bonuses. Again, that featured prominently in the debate. Yes, I mean, bashing bankers is a very popular activity. Um, there's no admission from the politicians that, in fact, it was they that created such bad rules in the first place. Um, look, of course we want to get taxpayers' money back from the banks that have been propped up, but if we excessively tax bonuses in the city of London, we will send our wealth creators offshore, they'll be off to Zurich, they'll be off to New York, and it will be a terrible, terrible mistake for what is, after all, Britain's biggest industry. Mr Farage? I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop you. Thank you very much for joining us, Nigel Farage, there at uh, Westminster. I'm joined now from Westminster by Nigel Farage from the UK Independence Party. Uh, Nigel Farage, on two uh, issues, quick uh, questions and answers for you. First, how did you think the debate played out on Europe and the Euro? Um, I was interested to hear it. I mean, clearly, with Greece in the ruinous state that it's in, uh, the Liberal Democrats are exposed because they've always wanted us to join the Euro. Uh, however, uh, David Cameron saying that his party will keep the pound, look, that argument was won ten years ago. There is no prospect of Britain going into the Euro. So I think really what Cameron was doing was, was saying in the marginal seats, please don't vote UKIP. And also on the question of immigration, something that's, uh, that's yeah. been a thread right through this well. campaign. Do we, <clears throat> do we have any more illumination tonight? Oh, we certainly do. Nick Clegg admitted, it's the first time that one of the three parties has, he admitted that as members of the European Union, there is absolutely nothing we can do to stop unlimited numbers of people coming here from those countries. And it was interesting that Cameron and Brown simply could not respond to that. Now, this is a song <coughs> that UKIP have been singing since 2004, ever since we voted against those Eastern European countries joining. And I don't think you've seen the end of this immigration debate. You know, once the penny drops with the great British public, that there's nothing we can do to control our borders as members of the European Union, then I think millions of people are going to be very angry indeed. Thank you very much, Nigel Farage. Thank will the Greek... Find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.